Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash. Today we're going to be talking about the Flash film that is set to apparently release next year. It was originally supposed to release this year, but there was a couple of delays, so they ended up actually sending it to next year. And we're going to be talking about what has been happening recently with Ezra Miller and what is the likelihood of the future of this film, when's it going to come out, how are things in the DCEU going to be affected. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys may know, if you're up to date with the news and with anything to do with DC, you know that there's been some trouble to do with the Flash film. It was recently reported that Ezra Miller, the star of the Flash, who obviously appeared in Zack Snyder's films like Batman vs Superman when he first appeared, he's appeared in Justice League and Suicide Squad since. And with all the controversy that's been happening to do with him and basically some of the stuff that he's done personally in his personal life rather than on screen, apparently Warner Brothers doesn't want to work with him anymore, and that is rightfully so. I think they actually made the right decision based on what we've been hearing. Nothing sounds good in terms of like Ezra Miller's way or even Warner Brothers' way, but it seems they've made the decision to not work with him on any future projects that was reported a while ago. And so with that, he obviously has been working with Fantastic Beasts. His character is probably not going to come back for that anyway. And then with The Flash, they actually planned a lot more with him and obviously they were anticipating the release of the Flash film to permanently like settle him down and introduce the Flash to everyone properly right in his own film because he's never had his own film. However, with all of this controversy, what do they do with their potential future DCEU star that could have led the Justice League with characters like Batman being gone, you know, Ben Affleck being replaced because he didn't want to do it. And so, with all of that, what is going to be happening? Well, we're going to discuss that in today's video. So, I think personally, and I've said this on a couple of streams, I think Ezra Miller's Flash film is going to be released. I think it will be released, but not in the conventional way. I have a feeling they don't want to reshoot the whole film, and I feel like they have to reshoot the whole film if they're going to release it in theatres, in cinemas. So, my theory is, they might release it on HBO Max, and although it's not going to be good for profits, because obviously they made this film with the intent of making a bunch of money, because it's a famous DC hero finally getting their film, there's lots of fans from the TV show, there's lots of fans from the comics, and there's DCU fans who love the movies. So with that, they obviously wanted to make that money, but because of the controversy, maybe it's better for them to bite the bullet and actually just release it on their own streaming service, that being HBO Max, of course. And by doing that, they are not shelving the film, they are not putting it away and making no money off of the film. No, in fact, they can release it on HBO Max, get new subscribers who would have watched it in the cinema, and so that's going to benefit them. Although they aren't going to be making a ton of money like they would have done in the cinema, it basically allows them to release the film kind of on the down low, although definitely lots of people are going to watch the film, just basically they're going to save money, they're not going to be spending money on advertising it for the cinemas, putting out trailers into all the cinemas around the world, putting up huge posters, no, I think they could totally just release it on HBO Max, advertise it online, maybe a couple of posters or something like that, and that is pretty much it. They release it on HBO Max. It's out there for the whole world. People can see it. And they can obviously judge what they like about the film, what they don't like about the film, what they think of Ezra. And I think that will minimize potential backlash. I think the biggest worry in Warner Brothers' mind right now is that are people going to actually show up? And is this backlash going to be too much that it's going to overshadow the film and its successes? However, there's always the chance that they might just bite the bullet and be like, let's release it in the cinema, we're going to get like a bunch of money from people, and we're just going to try and ignore the controversy, like they've done so far. I don't believe, apart from them saying that they're not going to be working with him anymore in the future, 
I don't think Warner Brothers has actually done anything publicly to go against Ezra Miller or back him up if they wanted to back up their assets. So right now I think they're in a big sticky situation, it isn't good for them. So that is my thoughts on how the Flash film is going to come out. Now let's talk about the characters in the film and what might be going on with the future of them. Okay, so with Batman being played by Michael Keaton, we know he's going to be showing up in the Batgirl film. So I think it's less of a worry for them that we're not going to see Michael Keaton's Batman again because we're going to see him in that other film. So I think it's more significant that Sasha Calais Supergirl, the first DCU Supergirl, is going to be premiering in this film and currently right now I don't believe she has anything else lined up in the DCEU for the foreseeable future. Obviously, if people like Sasha's Supergirl and they respond to her, definitely DC is going to want to make a Supergirl solo film that we've been talking about for a long time. I really feel like that Supergirl solo film is still going to happen, no matter what Warner Brothers does with the Flash film. However, if they get to release the Flash film, then they'll be able to gauge how quickly should they get that Supergirl film into production. I feel like they should start in the next year or so if I'm being completely honest. I would love to see a Supergirl film with Sasha, even though I haven't seen Sasha actually on screen and neither have any of you guys. Having Supergirl in the DCU is just so exciting because obviously I'm a big fan of Melissa's Supergirl from the TV show, I love Supergirl in the comics, so anything that's Supergirl related I'm here for and I've been looking forward to Sasha's Supergirl for a very very long time. And so, yeah, I don't think this actually hurts her in any way in terms of a potential Supergirl film in the future that would be solo for her, but I think it does harm her in the way that she won't get a proper debut that isn't clouded by the controversy surrounding the film, so she's kind of stuck in a tricky situation. And so, yeah, that's just my opinion. That's how I think it's going to go down. There's always the chance that they throw away Supergirl. If there isn't much response to her character, potentially they're not going to continue with it. But I think that is actually rare. I think they are totally in for this Supergirl. And I think there is a definite future out there for her in the DCEU. Now, let's talk about The Flash and him in the multiverse in general. Will we ever see him being replaced by anyone else? And could it be a Flash from out there in the multiverse? Could someone like Grant Gustin replace Ezra Miller? Now, this has been another question that has been asked by lots of people. Could they just do a switcheroo and have Grant play the Flash? Well, it doesn't seem that's going to be happening anytime soon, or at least it isn't on their agenda right now, because currently the Flash is set for a season 9, that's probably going to be a whole 20 episode season, plus Eric Wallace, the showrunner of The Flash, has said that he wants to do a season 10, so another season past season 9, when that comes out in 2023 next year in January. So that means Grant is pretty much booked in for the next year or so, but definitely it could be extended if they want to do a season 10 of The Flash, which is definitely possible as of right now. And so, with that in mind, I don't actually believe that Grant is ever going to replace Ezra in the films. I think if Ezra goes away, they may actually step back from using the Flash. And that's because, for a while, there's still going to be this controversy. People are just going to be constantly thinking of Ezra's Flash when they think of the DCEU, or they watch a DCEU film, because you've seen him in the past, you know that he exists, and so they might want to give it some breathing room before they introduce someone else to replace him as the Flash and probably use the multiverse excuse, that's how they've got Michael Keaton in, that's how Ben Affleck's Batman's still in it, and that's how they've explained everything, so they can totally do that with the Flash. So I understand why people keep asking why can't they get Grant Gustin in, well the answer is he's just too busy. But yeah, I think Ezra's future in the DCU is definitely numbered. It seems Warner Brothers doesn't want to work with him anymore, so that means we're not going to be getting any Flash anytime soon unless they actually release the film. Now, currently it's set for a release next year, that being 2023. I don't know exactly when it's coming out, but I'm honestly going to be shocked if they release it 
theatrically around the world because there's just controversy after controversy after controversy with all these articles, all these videos and everything coming out to do with Ezra and basically him being called out by so many people, rightfully so it seems, but for the studio and for the fans it's slightly worrying about the status of the Flash film and we'll just have to wait and see if it eventually comes out or not. But I really doubt they're just going to put it on a shelf because it costs them a hell of a lot of money and although I don't think they're going to spend the money to cast someone else and reshoot half of the film or even more of half the film because he's probably in the film for literally the most amount of time out of anyone. There's even two flashes in the film, actually both played by Ezra, so you have Ezra all over that film so it's going to be very hard to salvage unless they want to shoot the whole film again I guess but that is very unrealistic as of right now. So that is about it for this video guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. I would really like to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below because this is a very, very interesting topic as we are theorizing about the future of the Flash in the DCU and we know that Ezra is not going to be in that future, but what could they do with the character of the Flash? Let me know in the comments down below. But also remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.